I have come to the farmer's farm market, I think that's what it's called, in May, just outside Maidstone, so at Teeston, um, to get some nice fresh vegetables and hopefully be plastic free. So I'm going to ask if I can video as a walk around so that you can all see, because I was really impressed. I popped in here early, I popped in here a few days ago and I was really impressed at um, what they had. So I'm going to ask and then I'll be able to show you. I spoke to the owner, I think he thought I was a bit of a nutter, um, but he has allowed me to video. So I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see, because I think this is an amazing shop. I mean, maybe you will go to farm shops. My expectation wasn't this, so um, maybe it won't be yours either. So, so look at this, I mean, it's pissing down with rain. So, you, you know, you need to appreciate what I'm actually doing for you here. So this is farmers. Look at that, it's got a little bench when it's sunny. They sell flowers and plants, anyway. There we go, we've got apples. They've got so much, look at, look, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's like a little mini supermarket. And apparently all this is local, and then what, he gets other farmers to come in and do stuff. And then I think there's once a week, someone comes in and does fish, and someone else to come, I think they have a butcher come in as well. Look at all this. Cake. Who does a whole cake? Look at that. But one of the things I really like, because I popped in here the other day, so this section is amazing. They do meals for four. Look at this. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. They've got a huge range of um, food frozen, and you can have it a meal for one, a meal for two, or a meal for four. Look at that. And I think they do kids as well, which I need to have a look at. So look, you could do you could do your own fake away. You've got sides. And I think I don't know if this is local. Apparently it's made like you would make it at home. Oh there's the kids stuff, look. Look at all that. Two pounds seventy five? It's not that bad. And I think about the crap that I bought in Tesco's the other day. It's supposed to be for kids, look at all that bread. Although I'm making mine now. And another thing that's really good, obviously for your pets, there you go. Look at that! I didn't even know you could even buy potatoes by the sack anymore. But they sell if you care. I don't know if anyone knows about if you care. But it's a brilliant company and all their stuff is um, recycled or zero waste and or zero waste so there you go wood anyone need any kindling let's go see what's over here flowers people think i'm mad eggs look at all this salad Jelly beans. And all this is like this because of people wanting to go plastic free, apparently. And look how much there is. I have absolutely no idea. All of this produce, most of it local. And they've got a free from section. That's huge. Look at that. Rival Tesco's. We've got Infinity Food, so all this is organic. There you go. I'm going to try not to get these people because they don't want to be filmed. Well, apparently I need to get pie. Oh yeah, this is crazy. So this is all, this is all plastic free as well. well. I'm not sure what you put it into. But yeah, so you've got fruit. What else is here? Oh, croissants, nice, sausage rolls. I guess you just bring your own stuff. No plastic, love it. Look, potato wedges, sliced green beans. All of this, plastic free. 
Pains. Pains. Chips. Brilliant. Getting some very strange looks. More little local produce there. And if we looked at this, look at the size of those mushrooms. Don't like mushrooms. There you are. Look, paper bags. Ice cream. And then I'll just have a look at what's been in here. Kentish made. There we go. Cheeses. So I don't know if that's all local meat. I think it is. Ah, plastic milk though. Plastic milk. Standard stuff. Oh, this is all from Pembury. Pembury Porkies. Fresh. Again, it's plastic, which is a bit upsetting, but I guess you just have to come to the butcher. I'll find out what day is here. So, this is my purchase from Farmer's Farm Shop. I tried really hard to go, obviously, no plastic, but also local, so also Kemp produce. That was my other thought. I'm really excited about this, hence why I'm still on there. I think price-wise, it was it was fairly good. Um, very excited. I love sweet corn. Um, but I'm really surprised still at how much plastic there is. You know, this it's just every every everything is in plastic. How do you? Hello, Angel. Mummy's just videoing. That's the only thing that I pr was probably a bit more than I would normally spend. Um, Why is that a big pie? It's a really big pie, isn't it? But it's not really full of water. So I'm quite <coughs> excited um, about dinner tomorrow. Oh, and also these. <laughs> there you go. We've got five, five Yorkshire puddings. So I also like the fact that when, you, like when you do it without... Pudding. I like Yorkshire puddings too. When you, without, when you choose what you want, Nidia. then you haven't got the waste. Nidia. I've just bought what we need. I don't need to know a story about it. Store it. Cat what? Cat, you like a carrot? We need to wash it first. Okay. So I need to find ways. Do you, how do people get their meat before plastic? What did they put it in? And then how did they store it? I guess that's that's the question, isn't it? Because I think meat is the hardest thing. Because it's all it's all. Vacuum packs. Um, it's not bad, is it? It's got a year on it. Um, I was just thinking, oh my goodness, I'd bought that and it's out of date, but I've already got a year on that. I'm just putting the uh, video together for Farmer's Farm Shop and wanted to let you know what the food was like. So the next day we had um, breakfast. The sausages were amazing i won't i mean we had so we had two lots of sausages we had tesco's finest because we had some left over and the breakfast sausages i think it was they were two pound 20 and i think that's cheaper than tesco's finest they were huge and they stayed huge and they tasted so much better definitely going to be getting my meat from farmer's farm shop definitely highly recommend it it's all local stuff you know what you're getting Oh, kids loved it. So, um, yeah, just wanted to let you know sort of the update on eating the food so far. Really impressed. So thank you, guys.